welcome back to edu skills oer made easy our mission is to make you fall in love with oer if you're watching this on youtube kindly consider subscribing to the channel give us a thumbs up if you like our work and please share to your contacts so that we reach out to maximum number of oer aspirants especially those who are financially struggling to crack oer today we are going to deal with uh, writing This okay. is the thing you have been discussing, right? George Gale. Yes. Yes, ma'am. We'll be going into the purpose para directly. Here you have one purpose para. I am writing to transfer Mr. George Gale into a facility for temporary care and assistance. He is recovering from a fall and has you uh, has urinary tract infection. He is being discharged today. I have picked up all of those introductory paragraphs that you have posted in the main platform during the discussion. Okay. Now you see, I am writing to transfer. Why are you writing? Why are you writing this letter? Yeah. See the case note. <laughs> Using the information given in the case notes, write a letter of discharge. Letter of discharge, not a letter to discharge to Miss Gold, the head nurse at Primrose Nursing Home. Why are you writing this letter? What is the purpose of writing this letter? Request temporary essential care assistance. Yeah, Re to request care. the temporary, temporary care and assistance, care right? Assistance. So why are you writing? This introductory paragraph says, "I am writing to transfer." So what does this mean? I am writing to transfer to transfer Mr. George Gale, no, or to request post fall care. You are writing to request. Post fall care. So is the initiation correct there? No. You are not writing to transfer. You are writing to request post fall care or temporary care and assistance. Okay, Mr. George Gale into a facility for temporary care and assistance of what? This is to you or you. That has to be mentioned. Otherwise, you won't get to score. Assistance. What assistance? Temporary care and assistance can be for different things. Clearly, request. what assistance is required? This is not complete. Facility for temporary care and assistance for what? That's not complete. He is recovering from a fall. Is he recovering from a fall? Means he is getting up almost. Yes, he, he is there still fallen. Is it true? He is recovering from a fall? No. 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 And no. has no, a urinary tract infection. He is being discharged today. I have given a cycle here. You know what is the indication? If you are beginner, see purpose introductory paragraph when you write. You know the importance I have explained. It is scored out of three and it's given high importance for OET 2.0. So ask four questions. Who is transferred? Mr. George Gale is transferred, right? And answer the, those four questions. Where is he transferred to? Into a facility. Okay, whatever is given here, correct. What assistance is required? Purpose, that is the main important question. For temporary care and assistance of what? For what? Temporary care and assistance? For what purpose? Purpose is not mentioned at all. Nature of care is mentioned, but purpose is not mentioned. The third question is the top most important question. This uh, they says it's a purpose paragraph, and you haven't said what is your purpose. Fourth question, in what context assistance is required? Recovering from a fall. Recovering from a fall is not a correct expression. I'm just dissecting this purpose paragraph, okay? And has urinary tract infection, it was said. I added A here, okay? Let's see, there's a cycle. Anybody can tell me what, why it is a cycle? Why I have given this symbol of cycle here? Yeah. Now, out of four things required in the... Only two available. Only two are given. That also not important, uh, the most important aspects given. Most important aspect is third one. Then the second place goes to the fourth one. Then the name and other thing. So here, out of three, is hardly you can give one, not even one, for this introductory paragraph, which means this letter will never gain more than 220 or 230 okay uh, from here purpose mm -hmm. paragraph just see one explanation which i gave you see who is transfer here this is a peter dumber you know thank you for accepting mr dumber into your care for the regular monitoring of his diabetes as per this purpose paragraph they have said only care of for the regular monitoring see for temporary care and assistance of what of his diabetes and encouragement to comply with his medication and dietary regimens. This is a PAKA purpose paragraph. Mr. Dumbo is moving to Centerville to live with his daughter. So number one is the patient's name. Who is the patient? Number two, into your care. Where, he, where is he transferred to the location? Number three, what assistance is required? Regular monitoring of his diabetes and encouragement to comply with his medication and dietary regimens. Okay, number four, in what context assistance is required? 
Mr. Dunbar is moving to Centerville to live with his daughter is the context. So you have a Airavata here. Who, where, what and context. These four things should be included in every purpose paragraph. It's very, very easy. Ask these four questions. Write down these four questions. Take two or three case notes. Write only purpose paragraph. Ask these four questions and write individual sentences, answers. You have to write, Mr. George Gale is transferred. Full sentence you have to write. Where is he transferred to? Mr. George Gale is transferred to into your facility. Mr. George Gale is transferred into your facility. What assistance is required? You have to write the full sentence. You have to complete these question marks, okay? In what context assistance is required? So this particular paragraph is a Airavata or a deluxe bus with four wheels. So you, because you have the four aspects answered here, and we have a full video which I have done on this particular case note with Mr. Peter Dunbar, where I have explained all these aspects. Okay, now let's take, this is from OET, okay? OET official, thank you OET for allowing me to use this for teaching purpose. This purpose paragraph is from OET sample letter. Let's check whether these four aspects are given there. Thank you for taking over Mr. George Gale's post call care. I am writing to provide a brief summary of his background and plan for temporary residential care upon discharge. Now, four questions. Who is transferred? Mr. George Gale. It is given here. Mr. George Gale. Okay, Mr. George Gale. Who is transferred is given here in this paragraph. Where is he transferred to? Thank you for taking over, which includes... That is transferred to your facility. The language choice is different. And what assistance is required? Post fall care. Clearly says it's not just saying he needs care. He needs post fall care, which is again explained. I am writing to provide a brief summary of his background and plan for temporary residential care. Again, you have the post fall care explained again. So you have the third question, important question, clearly given what is required. And what in the context, in what context assistance is required upon discharge? Context is he is getting discharged from the nursing home, hospital, wherever. Okay, so you have a Airavata again here. This is the sample introductory paragraph given for OET sample in the official site. Just to analyze whether it is there. Flexibility is the key. For example, you see the official site, the sample letter gives the purpose para. Take thank you for taking over Mr. George Gale's post fall care. I am writing to provide a brief summary of his background and plan for temporary residential care upon his discharge. Even you can, if you want to lessen the word count, you can write, thank you for us taking over Mr. George Gale's post for care. I am writing to briefly summarize. See, I am writing to provide a brief summary of his background. You can just say, I am writing to briefly summarize his background. Okay, you can even change those things. There is nothing. Don't never ever by heart even from the sample OET letters. By hearting will never help. Flexibility is the key. Try to learn writing. Be patient and try to learn. And your response, I have deleted the names. You know, I, I was very sad. In spite of the admins taking so much struggle, admins and the angels and the volunteers to conduct this discussion, I got only three purpose paragraphs posted in the main platform. See, Mr. Gale requires your temporary care for his ongoing difficulties with mobility and confusion following a fall. He is being discharged today. So you have Mr. Gale, it is there. Okay, purpose para, even you can write full name, no issues. Requires your temporary care for his ongoing difficulties with mobility and confusion following a fall. This is almost clear, right? A good introductory paragraph. Second one, I am writing to request your care for George Gale, who was admitted to the hospital with complaints of disorientation and fever due to a fall. See, admission details and what was the report, reporting complaints or the complaints reported, those things are not required here in the introductory paragraph because you are discharging the patient. What is the situation over there? You have the final diagnosis and what follow-up care is required. So never ever write these details given in the red. He requires continuous monitoring and follow-up care. Of what? Follow-up care of what? That's not clear. He is set to be discharged today. That's cool. Third one, I request your care for Mr. George Gale, who was admitted to the hospital with complaints of disorientation and fever due to fall. See, this is being repeated. These are not at all required here. The best option is to, for you to visit the official site where they have given the clear paragraphs. Four or five letters are given where you don't have these details given, that's not required. He requires continuous monitoring and follow-up care of what? Again, here also, what purpose is not mentioned? He is said to be discharged today. 
So you can either have an Airavata DLX bus, which is expected. You can get three out of three in by your introductory paragraph, or you can have an auto drive or a cycle ride. Otherwise, you can even have a very bad paragraph like this introductory paragraph. I am transferring Mr. Dunbar to your community. This was written by somebody from our platform. I am transferring Mr. Dunbar to your community. Your community means your village. Community doesn't mean your facility, okay? Which requires, your community requires ongoing monitoring and education of his lifestyle modification. Which requires, I am transferring Mr. Dunbar to your community. Which requires means your community requires ongoing monitoring and education. And Mr. Dunbar will give your community ongoing monitoring and education. So I am sending Dunbar to you. So there is no meaning at all. There is nothing, none, none of these four things are available. So that's why I put somebody carrying the cycle. Okay, with the first very sentence, you are sure you will never get through the writing. I have taught you even earlier, if you have watched my videos, you know uh, clearly where you can find the introduction, to ask who you are, whom you are writing to, and what is their job or designation, job role or designation. You find it in the writing task, last portion of the case note. I hope you know that writing task is in the last portion. What's your role in the patient's care? In the beginning of the case note, soon after the date you have, what is your role? What type of letter you are writing? Purpose of the letter, discharge plan, most recent information, just above the writing task. Or in the writing task itself, they mention it. Or just above the writing task, that is the most recent information, which is the discharge plan. Now, as I taught you earlier, IPCP, these are the various factors. When I taught you this bar, I have taught you this. This bar, initiation. P means details of the patient. C means chief complaint, P means purpose. So if I dissect the whole introduction of your discharge data, it should be, I am writing to discharge, whatever, thank you for accepting, whatever it is, details of the patient, it has to be given, whatever the details. There is a doubt whether you should write your, uh, the age of the patient over there. If you have mentioned in the ray line, it's not necessary, but even if you write, it's not a big issue. And chief complaint, main issue, who was diagnosed with what, okay? And purpose, she requires your advice and management of what must be written. Not just she requires your advice and management, advice and management of what. So this is how uh, the introductory paragraph is written. I have, I'm shopping here. I need you to see, I have copied all your responses here. You can see other day in the channel and the YouTube channel, what you have given. You can see all your names here. Maybe... Jomo Joms, Jas Jas, Swami Nagpoil, and Madhubala. Madhubala has written a beautiful uh, introductory paragraph. Seji Matthew, Sumiprata, Parnan, and Yoji, Nadesh. These are the body paragraphs. Okay? Seji Uman, Seji Matthew, uh, M. E. Vishwas, Sumiprata. I, am requ I requested you to post it in the YouTube channel so that I need not score much. I can collect these things and uh, correct your mistakes. Unless I correct your mistakes, if I don't know what are your mistakes, teaching may not be effective. Is that cool? Hello. Yes, father. Yeah. Yes, father. Uh, yes, father. Some doubts you had in the discussion was one was ha has had, right? Well, when when do you use has had? If the yeah. patient have uh, some history still it is going on, can we add a can we write has had for simple simple trick I'll give you when you have to use has had is only when time frame is mentioned. For example, somebody has diabetes mellitus since 2010 oh, or sorry. for five years, then you have to use he has had started in the past and continues until the present. A time frame is given and has had is normally used with the since and for the proposition since and for. So if your case note mentions a condition with a year since 2020 or for 10 years, a time frame is mentioned, a point of time or a duration of time is mentioned, then you have to use he has had. When you use, you use had, had completed action when in the past. Yeah. No I'm connection finished, to the present at all. Completed in the past. No connection. When do you use has? Present. 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 Yeah. When you speak a fact about a person, you, a factual thing, no times mentioned, no time frame, no point of time mentioned, he has diabetes. She has hypertension. Had is for past things which is complete and no connection to the present. Has had is for those conditions which is mentioned with a time frame. Simple clue is this. If they have mentioned a year with the, the condition since 2000, or if they have said for 10 years or 5 years, 
you have to use has had. Is that clear? Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes, father. Yes. Yes. Point of time or duration of time? If they mention point of time only is since. year, father. Yeah, that is point of time. Without if they have time mentioned duration. year, yeah, you have to write he has had. Only year means you have to use since point of time. If they have mentioned a duration, you have to write for five years, for 10 years, for 20 years. Yeah. Those things also I have explained specifically in one of the videos. And only problem is that OET aspirants have no time to study. I have time to prepare the PPTs, teach them and uh, edit the video, upload it and maintain it. But OET people don't have time at all to <laughs> watch the videos. If I spend 20 hours on creating a video and uploading, OET people don't even want to spend 20 minutes to watch it. <laughs> That's cool. So beautiful. Just try it. If you are a beginner, even if you are not a beginner, if you are not very clear about writing your paragraph, make sure I'll try to upload this small video today, if possible tonight itself. Write at least two or three introductions, your own introductions with these steps. Ask four questions. Answer in simple sentence, who was admitted? Mr. X was admitted. He ask those four questions and answer those four questions. Then combine those four questions. Okay, which uh, anyone knows where I have explained this? Jake Thompson saw some video. Yeah, admins will post that video as well. You can watch that video and see those questions. And uh, so the, those Airavath, all those things are explained there. So you can see them and write as many as introductory paragraphs don't touch anything else you can write the body paragraphs later make sure that you get three out of three in introductory paragraph that will be the first impression and the best impression and the lasting impression for the examiners as soon as they say oh, all the four aspects are given and I tell you, there are institutions which say you should not write these things that is i have taken george gale's sample letter introduction and i analyzed and shown you so the best reference is OET official site sample letters. That's why I have taken the official OET site sample letter introduction. And they have given the first sentence is a post fall care. And if you can see fall, the synonym or fall is repeated more than eight or nine times in the case note. The keyword is repeated.